Also at 5.30, police are still searching for the person who fired shots inside the Lehigh Valley Mall. And tonight, we're hearing from two ambulance workers who responded to the scene. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo has the story. My family and my children have, you know, been struggling with it the last couple of days. Eddie Boyle of Centronia Ambulance says he's practiced plenty of active shooting situations before, even at the Lehigh Valley Mall, but he was not prepared for his own wife and daughter to be at the very place he was responding to when shots were fired there near Allentown Saturday evening. There's a lot of things that go through your mind when you get a call like that. Uh, active shooter, things like that, and you know, had your family being in there, it really puts another sense of uh, stress and anxiety on it. Whitehall Township Police say no one was injured during the shots fired, but Centronia paramedic Sam Yurkes, who had responded to the incident, was traveling home from work later that night when his coworkers say a car struck him, throwing him nearly 30 feet. His supervisor responded to the crash. One of our paramedics had actually stayed late for this active shooter at the mall. Yurkes was rushed to a nearby hospital in serious condition, but on Wednesday, with the aid of crutches, he was able to move around for the first time in days. Meantime, so many people who were at the mall or responded to it are still reflecting on the Saturday night scare. We don't even know what the reason was. Like, did somebody just do it randomly? Was there a fight going on? And I, those are so many questions that we don't have answered at this time. And the Whitehall Township Police Department still asking the public for any cell phone video they might have captured at the scene. I'm Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.